In a bold move towards sustainable energy and economic transformation, Namibia is setting its sights on becoming a global leader in green hydrogen production, aiming to establish itself as Africa's foremost hub for this emerging market. With ambitious plans and strategic initiatives, the Namibian government is spearheading efforts to leverage its abundant renewable resources and technological advancements to propel the nation into a green hydrogen superpower within the next decade. Namibia's vision for green hydrogen is multifaceted, encompassing economic diversification, energy security, and environmental sustainability. Recognizing the potential of green hydrogen as a key driver of foreign investment and a catalyst for decarbonization, the government is committed to harnessing this resource to power its economy while mitigating climate change impacts. With support from international partners, notably Germany, Namibia is investing in research, development, and innovation in green hydrogen technologies to unlock its full potential. The president of Namibia articulates Namibia's commitment, stating, We shall deliver Namibia's green hydrogen strategy, outlining a clear pathway to unlocking even greater investments and to establishing Namibia as a regional and global decarbonization champion. Namibia's Green Hydrogen Council unveiled its comprehensive green hydrogen strategy, aligning with the country's pledge to the Paris Agreement and setting ambitious targets for emissions reduction. Central to this strategy is the aim to position Namibia as a net exporter of energy by 2030, meeting global demand while enhancing regional energy security. Namibia's strategy for becoming a global green hydrogen hub encompasses several key initiatives. Firstly, the establishment of a dedicated framework aims to facilitate the planning, procurement, and monitoring of green hydrogen projects on state-owned land. This structural development is complemented by the enactment of the Synthetic Fuels Act, providing a robust regulatory environment to support green fuel production while ensuring compliance with international standards. Additionally, Pilot projects are being launched to bolster local expertise, enhance manufacturing capabilities, and encourage indigenous participation in the hydrogen economy. Furthermore, efforts are underway to design a shared ecosystem for common user infrastructure, streamlining development processes and reducing costs. Alongside these infrastructure developments, training programs are being implemented to empower Namibian citizens enabling them to contribute effectively to the green hydrogen industry and supply the skilled labor needed for its success. Namibia's green hydrogen strategy sets ambitious production targets, aiming to produce 10 to 12 million tons per annum of hydrogen equivalent by 2050. The flagship Hyphen Sao Kaib project aims to produce 300,000 tons of hydrogen annually with an electrolyzer capacity target of 3 gigawatts. Projections suggest that Namibia could achieve a cost of $1.5 per kilogram for green hydrogen by 2030, making it competitive on the global market. The Namibia Green Hydrogen Project is spearheaded by Hyphen Hydrogen Energy, which has reached an agreement with the Namibian government for the next phase of a monumental $10 billion initiative. Once completed, this project will export green hydrogen to Europe. Hyphen, backed by shareholders including Germany's Enertrag, emerged as the preferred bidder in 2021 for this project situated in Namibia's Tsau Cabe National Park. Despite some concerns over transparency from community activists, the feasibility and implementation agreement are set to be officially signed. Namibia's president hailed the project as transformative, aiming to benefit not only the nation, but the entire region and beyond. Anticipated to be operational before 2030, the plant will gradually scale up its production to reach 2 million tons of green ammonia annually. This initiative aligns with Namibia's aspirations to leverage its abundant solar and wind resources, positioning itself as a key renewable energy hub in Africa. However, challenges such as water scarcity and distance from major export markets remain to be addressed. Critics have raised concerns about transparency in the bidding process, but Hyphen defends its selection, asserting that the tender process was open and rigorous. 
with agreements already in place with European customers and plans for import into Europe via the port of Rotterdam, Hyphen aims to solidify Namibia's position as a global leader in renewable energy. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has also voiced support for Namibia's potential to become a renewable energy hub on both the African continent and globally. Namibia's green hydrogen project is making significant strides towards its export-oriented goals, with the Doris Green Hydrogen Village nearing completion. Expected to produce its first green hydrogen and ammonia in July, the facility is set to contribute to local agricultural needs initially, producing 18 tons of H2 and 100 tons of NH3 annually for ammonia sulfate fertilizers. However, Plans for massive scale-up and exports are in motion, with projections indicating substantial increases in ammonia production by 2027 and beyond. Memoranda of understanding have been established with various international partners for ammonia offtake, demonstrating the project's export focus. While there have been delays in the startup timeline, the project remains within its overall schedule, Additionally, Namibia is diversifying its green hydrogen initiatives, with the Hyron facility set to produce green hydrogen-derived iron by the end of the year, supported by German government funding. Despite flagship projects like Hyphen awaiting final investment decisions, Namibia's approach aligns with recommendations to start small-scale production for local use before scaling up for exports, reflecting a strategic trajectory in line with global perspectives on green hydrogen development. The current project structure is um, that 10% of this project shareholding actually sits with um, community groups. Uh, so about 7.5% with the Daure Daman Traditional Authority and 2.5% with the TSEP Conservancy. Uh, over and above that, uh, we do have commitments to both of these community groups around uh, employment, where in 50% of our employment is to be sourced from the Daurus constituency, and 30% of all, SM, all activities with respect to construction of this facility are to be allocated to SMEs from the Daurus constituency. And this is how we are trying to ensure that locals are also beneficiating from their resource within their natural area and ecosystem. The green hydrogen industry is going to be transformative for Namibia. Just Hyphen's project is going to inject more than $10 billion of foreign direct investment into Namibia, roughly Namibia's GDP, and create 15,000 jobs during construction and another 3,000 jobs during operations. Namibia has the potential to become a global leader in green hydrogen production, and Hyphen is incredibly proud to be working with the Namibian government to implement Namibia's first green hydrogen project.